All right, yep, I'm at Ken Games for sure. Um, it's super duper rarely. I'm shocked actually, I'm the first person up here. This is the section, well actually, I'll just show you. I'm so happy they used, uh, here, you can see where the heck I am. Uh, where am I? There I am. Pocket Battles, they even used Nanguea. I can't believe it. I'm like, yeah, man, right on. Um, yeah, I just got this yes, where all my extra goobly gooks are and whatnot. I thought this was a cool idea for me to remember to uh, stack them like this, like money kind of thing. I'm just using a piece of paper and some um, uh, painter's tape. Anyways, yeah, so I'm getting two tables I've mentioned before, Pocket Battles. I just find it ironic that uh, it comes in a tiny box, but yet once you start playing, I have to, you know, put all the top... Oh my god, the crosswords guy's back. I just noticed that. He's way off in the distance. This is good news. He's, um, yeah, if you're into 15mm uh, uh, Essex miniatures, uh, he's this guy. He's the red guy way off in the distance. He just went over to go look over at the table there. I don't know if you can see him. But, uh, so that's, essentially, this is the vendor's area. This is where Bob's going to be, right at the corner. My favorite vendor, I already talked to him, and I already said, uh, super great to see you, man, and don't forget to scope out any World War One games. I'm not playing any games tomorrow morning due to the fact that the marketplace you'll see off in the distance there in the far right, that's all used stuff. That's from 10 to 3, um, so I'm not going to do the uh, uh, last, last, or 10 to 1 or whatever, so last, yeah, it was 10 to 1, and last week, or last year, um, when, I, when I finished my playing my game, it was closed, and that really pissed me off, because I, I wanted to go and take a look at some used games. Uh, that guy's Terry from, he's got a, he's got a wicked, uh, wicked, um, website for his miniatures, but he's from Edmonton, but he's also part of this group, he comes in here, and there's Bob, there's Bob with his tables, bringing his tables, God love you, Bob. Um, yeah, and like I said, really amazing to see the cross swords guy here. He's from Toronto. That's the uh, um, I'm going to be perusing. He's the guy who started me on my on my road there for getting well my first painted uh, 15 millimeter uh, ancients uh, was from him. Uh, very DBA oriented, lot, but it's all uh, he do, I, doesn't have any of the book three army list, but who cares? There's Garth, he's a beast. He runs games like there's no tomorrow. I think I mentioned that before. He, like he does Ogre, um, Twilight 2000. He's, play, he's running five games this year again, as per. Uh, the guy in the middle there with the yellow hat way off in the distance, you can't probably see. He's the guy that I purchased. Uh, he, he runs the company that I purchased Ra Ross rifles from. And as you can see, yeah, it's a it's a curling club. <laughs> I guess you can see all the former, uh, you know, I guess former curling dudes or whatever. Uh, and that's about it, really. I'll, p I'll pop down quickly to show you what it's going to look like since there's nobody here right now. Um, and it's a lot of Scottish stuff or something, curtains and whatnot. Somebody would know. Ooh, the food's coming in. Lots and lots of food. Yeah, this is pretty. It's pretty Deadsville right now. Very Deadsville. Mm. And that's it. I'll pop outside quickly. That'll be that. Let me see here. Oops, sorry. Oh, I keep using that. <laughs> sorry. There we are. that's causing the camera to have a freaking connection fit. There we go. I don't even know why it's still going to happen. This is my bike. And away we go. Alright, I am going to have that blast. A flippin' blast. Oh yeah, he's the uh, caterer dude. Or the guy who runs the food. Alright, that's it. See you guys.